The Bible says, And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and all your souls that not one thing hath failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spake concerning you. All are come to pass unto you, and not one thing hath failed thereof. Here as Joshua is getting ready to say his farewell to the nation of Israel, he reminds them that God's word never fails. That God's promises have all come to pass exactly as he said. We know that the incarnate word, Jesus Christ, never failed. In the book of Isaiah, <clears throat> prophesying of the coming servant of God, Jesus Christ, it says, He shall not fail. Jesus Christ, in the flesh, accomplished everything he said he would do in fulfilling righteousness, dying for the sins of man, rising again, and showing that God can be trusted. And the written word, the word of God that you hold in your lap, never fails. It never disappoints. Not one of its promises will fall to the ground. As Jesus said, the scripture cannot be broken. Why do you and I struggle with so much trust? Why do you and I have so much doubt when we know in our hearts and in our souls nothing God has told us that is good hath failed? None of God's promises have fallen to the ground. Did God save you when you called upon him? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Didn't God fulfill that promise and make you a new creature in Christ and turn you from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto God? Well then, how shall he not with him, how shall he with him, how shall he with him not freely give us all things? Why will you doubt anything good that God will give to you now? Before you enter the promised land, as you receive your inheritance like the children of Israel, you must remember that God's word never fails. That'll take you into the place of blessing.